Hey everyone, it's Kirk here again at Option Alpha. So I realized when I did the last video, finally taking my EV bot live, that I wanted to incorporate something into the bots before I start replicating bots out to many different ticker symbols that I want to trade. And so I wanted to show you what I was thinking here in this video. Also, I'd love your feedback on this if you have any ideas or different ways of doing this. If you have an automation that you currently use inside of your bot and you'd be willing to share it in the community, I would love to see it to see how we can do this. So I plan to come back in here after doing more of these and getting your feedback and sharing you what I ultimately created. Um, but here's where I'm at with this. And what I wanted to do was add an automation that would continuously monitor the positions themselves for the state of the position. And what I found so helpful when we did two videos ago, the review of the Hexabot, kind of going through the different states that worked really well, like strong uptrend or regular uptrend or downtrend or whatever, I figured I wanted to do that and incorporate that here into my EV bots as well. And we could do it a little bit differently through the use of automations and then tag the positions for their different state. Now you can tag positions on the way in, of course, and you can do that in the open position action. What I'm doing here instead is I'm constantly going to be going through the process, or that's the idea, going through the process of tagging the current state of the bot uh, or current state of the positions so that when I go to review these later in the analyzer um, inside of option alpha, I can then check the different states like was RSI overbought or oversold or was it neutral? Was the market trend up or down? Were we close to expiration or far from expiration or things like that? Whatever you want to do, you basically put it into stuff like this. So here's what I'm thinking here inside of my uh, bot and automations. Again, I'd love your feedback on this. If you already do this and you could share how you do it in the community or um, attach your automations, that'd be super helpful. So what I was thinking about doing is probably doing some sort of triggers that use the market on open action. So at this point, the position's already gotten in. We could probably add one for the position opened as well and kind of run some of these at the same time. But generally speaking, like ongoing status report of the positions, we would do add market open Monday through Friday, and we would just simply run an automation one time at the market open. Actually, it's like 10 minutes after the market opens, but it basically would tag the state of the market. Now, if you want to do it at the market close, you do it at the market close, so you know where things are at the end of the day. That's fine too. It doesn't really matter. It's just trying to get a, a sense of where the position is and where the maybe the underlying security is, the technicals, et cetera. So for the sake of this argument, let's just say we run it at market open. Uh, Monday through Friday, of course, we skip holidays because it doesn't matter. And what we're doing is we're running an automation called status report for RSI tags. Now, the purpose, again, of this automation is purely, purely, purely to check RSI and just to tag the position in its current RSI state. So that if we were to close the position or if the bot was to close the position, then that state, that current state stays with the position so we can analyze it in the future. So we would know, okay, what was the current state when the position was closed? Was RSI high or low or neutral or whatever the case is? Maybe that helps us understand how we can adjust our bots in the future. So. The first thing that I'm going to do here inside the automation is, of course, I'm going to repeat through each type of position. And then what I'm going to do is just ask it a series of questions. And, and this is where I think that you could get a different type of status report depending on the different types of questions that you want to ask and the different states you want to tag. So in this case, you could say, okay, it's RSI above 70. And the, the actual decision here is the symbol decision. So you would connect it to the actual symbol that it's looping through. So you connect it there. And the 14-day RSI, the intraday or kind of live reading right now, is above 70. And if the answer to that question, that decision is yes, then what we're going to do is we're going to untag the bot. Now, we haven't tagged it initially, but at some point it's going to tag it. So you just throw in there the fact that you're going to untag the position that RSI is oversold and RSI is neutral because that's not true. And the reality is, is that you need to tag the position as RSI overbought. And so this ultimately gets to the point where if any position that we're, we have the bot move uh, trading right now, if RSI is actively overbought, then we just want to be able to tag that current state of RSI again. So that if we close the position, we can capture that current state of RSI. Now you can do it a million different ways, but this is the concept. So if RSI is not above 70, then in the answer to that question is no, then what we can do is we can go down here to the next one, which is, okay, we'll check and see if it's below 30. And in this case, if it's below 30, that would mean that RSI is low and oversold. 
And so now we would untag the bot, RSI over bot, RSI neutral, and we re-tag it as RSI over sold. Again, that would clear the old ones and then replace it with the new tag for RSI over sold so it keeps that current state for the position. Now again, if you wanna clean these up like I like to do, just go in here to your captions. You can say RSI below 30, give yourself a different caption, and then you can clean it up. Again, it's, it's totally up to you how you wanna do this. Now I'll do this last one here with you because I figured I would do this on the video too, but if RSI, RF, RSI is not above 70 and it's not below 30, well then obviously it's gotta be neutral. It's gotta be between 30 and 70. So down the no path here, what we're gonna do is we're going to untag the position. We're gonna untag it RSI over bought, untag it RSI over sold because it's neither of those. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to add a tag to the position itself for RSI neutral. And so you see how we're kind of doing this. So we're doing, in this case, like three states. So it's either overbought, oversold, or neutral. And then we can capture it moving forward for any positions that we have inside of this bot as we start to replicate it for other ticker symbols. Because it's not specific to a particular symbol right now, we can use that ticker input to switch it out. Um, so this is really, really helpful, is trying to figure out, okay, where is RSI? Where is it relative to um, the signals that I'm using? And again, you can adjust it for yours. And how can we tag appropriately the current state of that position so we keep track of it moving forward for analyzing? So this is how I'm thinking about doing it here inside my bots. Again, I'll probably call these something like position status report. This one's RSI tag specifically because that is the purpose of it. You don't need to run these all the time. That's the key with these. I think you can run these either on a schedule or you can run them uh, like a repeating schedule, like in the morning or afternoon or midday. We could run them every day, midday if we wanted to also. So we could switch this up and select a different pattern. So we could say, all right, every day and we'll run them at 12 o'clock. I don't know, pick an arbitrary time during the day that is important to you. And you run that um, through that arbitrary time. So in this case, we'll say, yes, go ahead, just run it if you need to. Okay. So this is, I think is a really cool idea. I think it is helpful because eventually when we start doing more analysis on this through the analyzer that we learned from analyzing all those tags on the hexabot, it should be really helpful to us to know the state in which positions were closed or at the time. We could even do stuff when positions were opened. So there's a lot we could do. We could tag opening state and then later tag closing state with these like status reports. Um, I'd love to see where your guys' uh, ideas are on this again, like I said, or if you have automations and ideas you already built out, please share them in the community that would be really, really helpful. So as always, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'll keep you updated as I go through and add these uh, different versions of these automations. And as we start to multiply these bots out for different ticker symbols, it's an ongoing process and journey for me doing this. And I hope these are really helpful for you. Until next time, happy trading.